Let's see the question number 11. What will be the output of the following Python code? We have these numbers, that is a list, okay, with values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Then we have this for loop with i in range starting at 1 and stopping at 6. Then, inside of our for loop, we are copying the value at the index i and pasting the value at the previous position. The second for loop just prints the entire list and the options that we have here are the first one A 6 1 2 3 4 and 5 B is 1 1 2 3 4 and 5 C 2 3 4 5 6 and 6 and D 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 Okay, so let me let me open the terminal and let's see the right answer. And the right answer is two, three, four, five, six, six is the option C. Let's understand these codes. Python starts reading the first line of our code. It creates a list in memory like this one and also a variable called numbers that is pointing to our list. Then Python goes to the first loop and now we have a range. Remember from the question number five, a range have a start, a stop and a step. In this case the start is equals to one, the stop is equals to six. The default value for step is 1. So i becomes 1 and i minus 1 is equals to 0. Then Python goes to the index 1 of our list, copies the value, goes to the previous index of our list and pastes the value. A new cycle begins. i becomes 2, i minus 1 becomes 1, Python goes to the index 2 of our list, copies the value and pastes into the previous position. A new cycle, i becomes 3, i minus 1 becomes 2, Python goes to the index 3 of our list, copies the value, paste into the previous position. Then i becomes 4, i minus 1 becomes 3, Python goes to the index 4 of our list, copies the value and paste into the previous position. The last cycle, i becomes 5, i minus 1 becomes 4, Python goes to the index 5 of our list, copies the value and paste into the previous position. Why this is the last cycle? Remember, the per meter stop of range is exclusive, so the number 6 doesn't count, and our first loop stops. After all of these, Python goes to the second loop, and in the second loop it will print the entire list. So what we have in the list? We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 6, and this is why the option C is the right answer.